and joy is right here the shape of the day of course not the fruits as you can see <laughs> <laughs> and today we're making a breakfast that is friendly enough for a diabetic person yes. and uh, i can see well all healthy natural foods mm -hmm. fruits veggies everything that you've always been uh, sort of told to do so yeah. salimi wadao chef so good morning. Mm -hmm. uh, today we are making an easy breakfast burrito that is sure to be delicious and nutritious. Mm -hmm. As you can see, we have an assortment of fruits over here mm -hmm. that we will blend in, uh, later on to a tropical juice. Mm -hmm. and then here we have our veggies that are going to go well with right. our omelette. All right. Because that's what we're going we're gonna to fill it in, a vegetable burrito. Okay, okay. Yeah. Well, I will assume not everyone knows what a burrito <laughs> is. So what is, a, what is a vegetable burrito for? Crying out loud. Well, a breakfast burrito. Well, it's uh -huh. basically a, a tortilla mm -hmm. wrapped okay. or let's say an omelette wrapped in a tortilla. Mm -hmm. So it makes up a breakfast burrito. Okay, that's yeah. amazing. This is something that anybody can, can have. Yeah. You know, and I'll, I'll, I'll not task you to explain to us you know the nutritional value of that because then we have a nutritionist on board mm -hmm. so at that time when we're tasting and we get to see whether indeed that was a great meal that was prepared she will be taking us through and telling us the essence of you know having such and how nutrition nutritious it is of yeah. course or the nutrition values that comes along with that mm -hmm. so yes take us through where do we start what do we do and all so that. we'll yeah. begin by first making our dough mm -hmm. which this is breakfast that can be made for, like in how many minutes? If, you, uh, if you're well prepared. Tops, it depends on how fast you what can you be. So I, can, I need a bowl. I need, need a bowl, a bowl to mix. So where we can, we can mix our dough. Yeah. All right, I so think I can help out on that. Or, okay. <laughs> As I try to find my way around yeah, this lovely the kitchen. There. there should be a bowl there. Oh, I think yes. I found a plastic container. Right. Uh -huh. good enough. Okay, so yes, a basic uh, commodity that you can find, or, you know, in the market. I can see onions, tomatoes, uh, pili pili ho ho, of course, your spinach. You can see there's yogurt here, then there's some milk. Uh, there's some cooking oil. What is this? This is coconut oil. Oh, that is Only coconut that, oil. it's not at room temperature. Okay, right, ah, all right. Yeah. Okay. So it's supposed to be... Liquid, liquid in liquid form yeah. so we'll heat it up a little okay. so this is so our all-purpose flour all right we just serve it up a little mm -hmm. so uh typically mm -hmm. you can use uh two to three cups yeah. of flour yeah and like a small tablespoon mm -hmm. of oh. salt right. and then some oil okay so that is what that we're making exactly this is now the tortilla uh -huh. we're okay. first making the tortilla all right the burrito is now the final. Oh, the, uh, the final, <laughs> the product, final product, product, product after combined, everything. Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. And that's cooking oil. Yeah, this is cooking oil. Mm -hmm. So first, you're gonna mix it up. Okay. And then mm -hmm. we're gonna add some water as we go. As we go through. Yeah. Okay. Cold water is okay. Or Cold what? water is okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. Like my colleague was here last week and she said mm -hmm. it's all it's really overrated. Is yeah. this, this something that you're told but yeah. you're actually not... But then we were raised up knowing that, that mm -hmm. even in chapatis, mm -hmm. you need to use warm water. And you know I did exactly what she did. <laughs> it, it's like I was waiting for that recipe and that very evening mm -hmm. I was doing the same for my family. I did not use cold. <laughs> uh, I, I did not use warm milk and it, it, it went all well. So I think also it's, it's that moment where you get tips on uh, what well, you can actually prepare for your family. The yeah. At things, the end of know. the day, yeah. it's basically uh, finding in good proportions the yeah, mixture yeah. that you put inside. Mm -hmm. Whether it's warm or cold water, mm -hmm. is not really a necessity, yeah, yeah, provided yeah. it's water. All right, yes, and uh, we get to learn different tips and different ways of doing, you know, the, the, the simple meals that you actually know about. I mean, today you have... Uh, sort of the fruit salads and all that different ways of doing that uh, today you have of course the yogurt you instead of just taking it the usual way then we teach you other ways of of course incorporating that brings a different taste by the way it's interesting how cooking you know you can cook the same sort of uh, thing yeah. but it in gives you different, different taste you yeah. know, depending on how you've cooked it depending on how you uh, on what you've mixed inside and all that yeah so like here, yeah, I mm -hmm. put in excess water so I can just add in some Oh, so it's flour. supposed to be like uh, dough? We're making, yeah, a, a soft dough, dough yeah. yeah. Okay. It's basically dough. Oh, there. all right, okay. Mm -hmm. So we have to make sure it's going to be a soft one. Yeah. And one that doesn't stick. So is, uh, can you get creative with, uh, with something else like sugar or is just salt? Salt is way better. No, salt, thing. yeah, salt and some pepper, and black pepper. And especially for a diabetic person, I think it's fair that uh, we... We are really trying to eliminate the sugar. Yeah, and sugar, true. 
So this is coming up well. All We're right. looking for something really mm -hmm. soft. What would be the worst thing to use? Uh, I mean, a flower that has, of course, raising. Yeah, really. raising. Uh -huh. That would be the worst thing it to happen. Uh -huh. It's like making chapati uh -huh. with baking flour. Ah, okay. You get right. So this one it has to be all purpose. All purpose. Okay. Exactly. So uh -huh. as you can see, uh -huh. this is coming out well, and it's sorry. That's okay. Into I'm a nice soft this, mm -hmm. this glove affair, man. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's because uh -huh. I have long nails. Ah, you see? All right. And uh, typically, oh, so nails. This is the secret. Yeah, yes, this is yes, the secret yes, 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 to cleanliness. Yes, to true. cleanliness. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's so good. you can still look good and still make I a good meal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because every other time I know you have your nails and you're putting them. Yeah. So the question is, how do you fool? How do you cook? How do you do Sometimes there are people who actually do not eat your food literally. Because I know they. I used to have this boss who mm -hmm. would never eat something that has been cooked with someone who has long, long nails. nails. Yes. Would uh -huh. never completely. No matter That's how sad. you clean them. And you Oops. Them, so yeah. Our dough is ready. Mm -hmm. We can just set it aside for like 15 or so minutes, okay. 15 to an hour. Mm -hmm. so but today we'll just up. use. Oof. There are times of, 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 I've mean, left my dough to, to rest for like how many, like, like an hour. And mm -hmm. you know, it comes out extremely soft that you almost are forced to add some more flour. Some more flour. Yeah. It's, it's still okay. okay. It's still okay. okay. There's nothing wrong with you it. You want something? Adding more. Mm -hmm. No, no, I'm okay. Oh, all right. So as mm -hmm. that continues to set, we're going to start off with our veggies, which yeah. is the omelets. All right. Yep. So we're going to chop so up. So we just chop them up. Yep. Mm -hmm. Our spinach, and then the secret with spinach, yeah. you don't really need to chop them up finely, finely yeah, like yeah, skuma yeah. wiki, because mm -hmm, mm -hmm. the bigger it is, the more nutrients it retains. Oh, okay. So yeah. it's all about the nutrients and not about the. Okay, that's interesting. Like we said, breakfast mm -hmm. is the most important one, yeah, so it has yeah. to be the most nutritious. Nutritious, <laughs> And now, at least you get a chance to know that you don't really have to have your spinach yet in your gully if you mm. want to do it. You can have it for breakfast. For breakfast, yeah. And so, mm -hmm. so you see, we have our spinach ready here. Yeah. <clears throat> our onions. Mm -hmm. So we get into the cooking? Yeah, we get into the cooking. Right, okay. Linda, I think you're a better place to help me here. The, the other time we used to which one now. Oh, there this you one go. Is on. It's yeah. not on. It's not on. Just close it and then be a little bit. Just. No. Oh. Technology. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> I don't know why it keeps getting loose. Oh my! The camera guy can be helpful. In that. <laughs> he's showing me. He's indicating, yeah. but do it. Let, let him do it's it. It's not agreeing. Yeah. Let him do it. Okay. Well, we get that fixed. Uh, you, maybe you can be preparing something else, and then they fix it, and then we go back to that right after. Of yeah. course, uh, it should almost be immediately. So put in. You would get someone to fix that, please. Uh, mm -hmm. All right. So put I've added in my the, the coconut added, oh. oil. All right, let them come and fix that. Meanwhile, maybe okay. you can just take us through something else. Mm -hmm. So then we'll just break our eggs mm -hmm. <laughs> in the meantime. Yeah, in the meantime as we wait. So the eggs will also go hand in. Oh, we'll it's an omelet. Yeah, an so omelet. We'll go in together with that. Yeah. Okay. But first, mm -hmm. you'll have to start with making your veggies yeah. before you put before in your you omelets. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah, you put the eggs in, yeah? yeah. Mm. So you have to first start with your vegetables, mm -hmm. and then later on is when you'll add in your egg. Mm -hmm. So in terms of portions and all that, like how many eggs are we getting into this? So and it would serve like how many people? For today, mm -hmm. since I'm using four eggs, yeah. basically four people. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is a meal for four people. All right. Yeah. So it's like a family meal. Ah, it's family. <laughs> yeah, uh, family I, I don't meal. know. My nephew told me something that was very funny. Mm -hmm. I've, I've tried it practically. It seems like it's, it is working. He told me that, you know, when you want to cook eggs, mm -hmm. make sure the moment you are sort of uh, cooking them is when you get to just crack them. Don't crack them, you know, way earlier than the time, the actual mm -hmm. time, because then they will not be fluffy enough. I don't know whether it's true. Well, but I've tried that. And in a way, you know, sort of it work. I, I don't know whether it's just because it, it's in the mind or mm -hmm. it's actually that. Maybe as a chef, you can tell us. If you crack them as early as now, mm -hmm. and maybe you cook them 15 minutes later, would you achieve the same results? Well, I don't know about your nephew, okay. but I've been making my eggs like this and oh, I've really? never had a problem. So you can keep it somewhere yeah. for like 15 hours, uh, 15 <laughs> no. minutes and then you still go. That's too long. No, 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 yeah, not, not 15 not hours, 15. 15 minutes. And then you still go back and cook them and get the fluffy aspect of it? Yeah, because oh, okay. I've, I've never had eggs fail me. 
Oh, really? Yeah? Really. Okay. I've never That's had good. eggs fail me. Uh, well, they also say in the beating, you also get how fluffy they can be sometimes different ways. Of, mm -hmm. yeah. I should okay. meet your nephew. He seems he I has know. so much insight. Yeah. But you have to try that practically. Uh -huh. And in a way, and it made sense. I, I don't know. I, I felt like it made sense, but yeah. Mm. Mm -hmm. All right. So we're still we're waiting, waiting for our guys. Yeah, it should be. <laughs> So everything else is set apart from yeah, that. Okay, maybe we can just go look at this fruit. So this is set already? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Yeah, this is just the basic uh, assortment of fruits uh -huh. that you can have later on. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. You see, I've cut them up into big pieces because okay. we, we're not making a salad. Uh -huh. It's just an assortment. All you right. Just pick one uh -huh. as you go. Okay. Yeah. So the onions, the... The what do we call this? This one's uh, pepper. pepper, green pepper. Yes, green pepper. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's for uh, the vegetables. Oh, it's salad. for the vegetables. Mm -hmm. Yeah. At what point then do we have a, the, the yogurt coming in? The yogurt mm -hmm. is for if you decide to put it in your juice. All right. Yeah. Okay. It's optional, by the way. All right. So whether you want to, you don't want of to. Soul. Of mm -hmm. course, remember, Xenic is on standby, and then we come fix some two three things, and then we'll be right back with you. Yes, we're back and uh, we're all about preparing some good uh, sort of nutritious meal or breakfast for a diabetic person. And I keep saying it's not about that because then it's, it's, it's a meal or it's a breakfast that would be eaten by anybody else in the family. You know, it's Christian cities, uh, nothing special about it. But just the fact that we played along, you know, around with the, with the nutrition, uh, with, with the vitamins, with the carbos, with the, you know, sort of uh, proteins and we get the best of meal that is uh, tasty and good enough to keep you going throughout the day. Chef uh, Joy is here on board and of course uh, taking us through and we cross over to the other side where she's preparing now the omelette and uh, yes Joey, up to you to take us through exactly what it is that you're doing. So I first started off with my onions. Mm -hmm. I put in here coconut oil but mm -hmm. you're not limited to the oil. Mm -hmm. You can as well use just regular oil. Mm -hmm. uh, some onions after they began to brown oh, I yeah. added in my pepper which is the green and red pepper. All right. So you want to have them crunchy or well totally cooked? Depends uh, on what really, you want. Just preference. Intermittent. Yeah? Okay. Just there. Right. Yeah, but it also depends on your preference. Because mm -hmm. in some meals, mm -hmm. I'd love them crunchy, and yeah. in some, I wouldn't even want to see the sight. All right. You see? Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. So after this is well done, we we'll yeah. add in our spinach. Our spinach. Yeah. yeah. So that should cook for about how many minutes? Because then I'm thinking how... Three to four minutes. Three to four minutes. Yeah, so yeah. Right. Depending also mm -hmm. on how you want them. If okay. you want them well done, mm -hmm. three to four. But if you want them crunchy, mm -hmm. three, three is enough. All right. So when you talk about omelette, we know it's about eggs. So at what point then will... Okay, well, of course, you'll tell us when we put the eggs. Mm -hmm. But then, like you say, maybe it depends on how much you want it cooked. Yeah. Okay. So uh, the process basically is mm -hmm. after we've done our vegetable parts of the portion, yeah. we'll uh, mix it up with the eggs before we put it back okay into the skewer all right and remember we'll be having a session with the nutritionist who will tell us the essence of having this simple breakfast meal for a diabetic person and whether it's healthy enough she'll be here to confirm whether it's so or not because sometimes you know eh, with the chefs they can always tell you get creative and enjoy <laughs> as much as you want but then yes the doctor on the other end says no no no, mm -hmm. no, no you can't do this and equally, your health condition does not allow you to do that. So we'll get to see whether this is possible because many a times when you have diabetes and you have health conditions, you know, you find it very hard to figure out what exactly it is that you would eat and would be good for you. So yes, uh, this we have uh, sort of uh, gone out there, sampled and asked a few questions to a few people and they have recommended this. But then we need that rubber stamp or that, you know, sort of confirmation from the nutritionist. So yes, uh, still fixing that omelette. Yeah. So I've added in some black pepper, mm -hmm. which is also optional. Yeah. yeah. So any spice you want in here mm -hmm. is basically upon you. Okay. It's just upon you. All right. So, so in goes in our spinach. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Remember, with spinach, yeah. we are looking for the nutrition part of it. All right. So you can't have them like cooked. Uh, how do I say it? Uh -huh. You can't 100%. have them on heat for a long time. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. So it's, it's just about for them to scream, uh, to, to, you know, like uh, shrink, mm -hmm. and then that's when you put in the egg. <laughs> and then, you know, it's funny with spinach, uh -huh. you can see them like it has filled the skewer, but yeah. at the end of it's the day. It's very kidogo, I know. Tiny, <laughs> tiny. <laughs> You're yeah, like, who is the lie? Who is the lie? Who is the lie? <laughs> 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 then you go to your mom and burger and you have really leafy spinach, mm -hmm. like for 25 shillings. Yes. But at the end of the day, you feel like you've eaten something for what, that five is ten, shillings. Five bob, I know. <laughs> the, the numerous times I've fought with them. Sincerely speaking, that's why you're, you're always advised if you have to do spinach, either buy lots and lots of them 
or you just mix decide to mix them, them. yes with skooma mm. and everything what's the difference between this and baby spinach and the baby spinach ones you know the ones that are just small leaves mm -hmm. i'm asking what the difference is uh, the difference between the two yeah uh, Okay, for me, uh -huh. I'd say, because basically, mm. I just love cooking. So, with cooking with baby spinach, I feel they are more not... Okay. I'm looking for the word to use. Uh -huh. yeah. I think the smell is... They're as baby. It's just as baby. baby. As They're just baby. Okay. Uh -huh. Even when you hear I the word I'm, baby... I think I understand what you're trying to say. Yeah. You see? Yeah? You see? Uh -huh. you see? That's What's nice. happening here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're just reducing. Easy. The more I, I do this... Mm -hmm. So we okay. have a nice vegetable it looks very meal good, coming yeah. up here. Mm -hmm. At this point, you can even just have it with the ugali. All right. Yeah, I know. <laughs> that is as, as, as good as ready. Yeah, as good as ready. As good as ready. We this had already added beautiful. in our salt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So don't forget that. Mm -hmm. And then now it's time that you bring the eggs. Or maybe we still wait for it we'll to cook. We still wait for it, Okay. Mm -hmm. Nasikia tu mwanzee isiku na na avocado kuna vile. Kuna vile inaweza inaweza. Ni baki tu gali. The bigger side of me. Na pilipili. I know na pilipili that's exactly it. And it's a done deal. It's a done deal. You know. It's incredible, yeah. Truth be told, there are just days you wake up feeling, oh my god, if I can just get something leafy. I know. It will be amazing. It's true by the way, there are days you feel like that. But I don't know. Leafy has now become extremely expensive. How many mimi tuna feel? Ah, they cook illa mali. Very readily available, but don't you think skuma squeeze it and it's expensive to shinda nyama? You know, there are times, like, sincerely speaking, you can do nyama, four of you, na skuma, yeah, the same amount can not. But yes, him. I don't know why, but well, thanks to the economy. And then, if you can remember, kitambo, even just skuma, 30, 30 shillings. I know, can look like a feed. Seven, eight people of a fa you know, a family, but squeeze him and they are 30 people. Nikubaya, nikubaya Linda. I know, nikubaya sana. Nikubaya. Wewe mzena. Kidogo utambio, unapua pesa ya kununua food, kumbe unafanya mambu ingino, unatengeneza nyele. Kumbe ni economy. I know, right? Okay, so yeah, economy kuwa mbaya, so it's pretty much sad, but all the same, we have to look, we have to eat well. Yeah, we have to eat. If we have to live long, that's for sure. And maybe that's when the nutritionist comes in. Like every other time, you know, we complain that it's expensive, but she says, you know what, it would even be more expensive for you if you choose to abscot or maybe yeah. not to have this mm -hmm. now and then later on when you have to deal with your health it becomes a problem yeah, so Kate Kibara a nutritionist our you know household name well-known nutritionist in the country will be joining us actually Kate Karibu Sana and then you take us through this particular moment of course with Chef Joe I don't know why I like calling her Joe instead <laughs> <laughs> so, oh so you work at this candle before the eggs Kate yeah. is here Gonna how are you okay. Karibu Sana good morning thank you all right and here we are at it is this good enough uh, on the Aussie, you know, outlet? Do you think it's good enough for uh, a diabetic person? I think so far so good. Uh -huh. Remember when you're eating for, uh, for any condition, if you're trying to manage any condition, uh -huh. you actually need to look at the different type uh, food groups yes. because you need to include all the nutrients. All and right. that's uh, the bottom line in uh -huh. healthy eating, uh -huh. healthy exercising. Uh -huh. So we're talking about, uh, you know, You have protein, your protein, you have your carbohydrates, carbohydrates uh -huh. you have your healthy fats, right. you have your, your, your drinking uh -huh. water, you okay. have your fiber. Uh -huh. And the art is, if you are diabetic especially, right. You need to identify your stage. You could be a pre-diabetic. Pre mm -hmm. You could be already in, into the condition. Yeah. You're managing it. Mm -hmm. Or you already had the, uh, the juvenile diabetes. There are two yeah. types of diabetes. Yeah. Maybe as she continues cooking, mm -hmm. the one that you're born with because mm -hmm. it's an autoimmune disease where your body cannot produce insulin. Right. And also the second one, which is very common, uh, adult onset, which mm -hmm. is basically because of our lifestyle. Okay. And the trick here, if you have diabetes, it means that your, your body is not able to metabolize glucose for energy yeah, yeah, yeah. so when you have excess glucose into in your system mm -hmm. it goes into your bloodstream and that brings a lot of complications which eventually may lead to death mm -hmm. and we've seen a lot of uh, management of diabetes what you need to do especially is to reduce your BM, uh, BMI BMI, BMI uh -huh. means a lot of people who have a, the risk of uh, contracting diabetes types too, mm -hmm. is that they are overweight yeah, yeah, yeah. or a family history maybe mm -hmm. maybe are over the age of uh, 45 right. or you eat very unhealthy you okay. know and what you need to look at is mm -hmm. 
the type of food that you eat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Remember, cooking is an art. I love what she's doing. She's know, explaining with a lot of passion. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. Cooking is an art, and as a diabetic, you can choose different types of foods. Yeah. But what you need to actually work on is foods that have a low glycemic index. Okay, okay. A low yeah. glycemic index uh -huh. means foods that are released slowly into glucose into your system. Right. Because I don't want to eat something that has high sugar, and immediately my uh -huh. sugar levels are high, yeah, yeah. my blood glucose is high, and uh -huh. that can bring So you go low on carbohydrates, basically, because then they hold lots of sugar? Yes, uh -huh. you also go low on fats All right. uh, because again uh, for diabetes type 2, uh -huh. your body produces, uh, the pancreas produces the hormone insulin okay. which is supposed to balance this glucose uh -huh. and if your liver cells become insensitive to this because of high cholesterol, uh -huh. high uh, from your diet, uh -huh. high fatty foods, uh -huh. when you're eating foods that have uh, the bad oil, yeah, yeah, yeah. Foods, right. a lot of yama, a lot of cholesterol foods or the wrong cooking oils that have Glycerides. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It means that you raise your uh, right. bad uh, protein, mm -hmm. uh, lipodensity, the bad HDL cholesterol, mm -hmm. and that makes you attract. Uh, oh. uh, so your, your body is not able to metabolize. To metabolize that. All right, let's cross over a bit to her, then we come back with much more mm -hmm. on that. And how far away? That's what's you, Imeva. Hey, Imeva. Man, I need Imeva. my Ugali like so, right now. Ooh, what we've done, mm -hmm. uh, I, when, once the vegetables were ready, yeah. I put them separately mm -hmm. into a bowl and then I added in my eggs. Your, your eggs, yes, yes, you mix that. Because yeah. if you do it over here, you may find it becomes ah, mushy becomes and not ideal. Okay. All so right. after uh -huh. that was mixed up, I put back my skewer on the gas, uh -huh. some oil, and then voila. There you go, voila. This it's is all, all set, yeah? Mm -hmm. Ready to serve. Now we come to that. We come back to our dough. Uh -huh. So as you can see, our dough is ready. All right. I'm going to use this as my surface. Mm -hmm. yeah, you better be very careful in what you're doing because Kate is here. You know, like she's the, she's the, wall, yeah, the food I'm wall. <laughs> you know what? Because you're confident worried. about what you're yeah. doing. Yeah? <laughs> and you're sure that it's, yes, what yeah, a deal. Okay. Where do we, oh, the eggs bring in the protein. I was like, oh, where, where are our <laughs> protein somewhere here? So, so as you yes. can see, this is our carbohydrate. Mm -hmm. Our proteins are the eggs, the vegetables are yeah, there. Yeah, so it's yeah. basically a balanced meal at mm -hmm. this point. All right. Okay. Uh -huh. So after kneading, mm -hmm. you can see we have something that's consistent and it's soft. Yeah, Not yeah, too yeah. soft, right? but it's just well enough. Okay. So then we come to separate it into mm -hmm. the first half. Yeah which you'll go ahead to separate again. again. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you, of course, you'll just basically figure out the portions. Yeah, the portions that you want, but we have to find something that's really thin. Okay. We're looking for a thin, uh, mm -hmm. what is it called? All uh, right. That's it's like round chapo. Chapo. <laughs> chapo. <laughs> 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 chapo. It's always okay. <laughs> I know. <laughs> <laughs> you don't struggle so hard. But my English teacher will be like, hmm, Actually, they call it manda in Swahili. Manda. Think, it's like manda and you mean, yeah, yeah, samosa. <laughs> yeah, Man, <laughs> I'm telling you, you'd be like, Yeah, yeah, yeah. Take me back to English. Take me back to English. Yeah. Please, mm -hmm. please, please. I know. And suffering. Right? <laughs> All right. But you know, when it comes to it, yeah. uh, you can find yourself doing a lot of Kiswahili. Right. But then, when, it, when it's time to be an English oriented person, mm -hmm. you become stuck again. I know, that's true. By the way, that's very true. So, of course. <laughs> Uh, here we are. It's all about uh, sort of taking care of, uh, you know, people who could be having diabetes or who have diabetes. And like uh, Kate has taken us through, you know, the different types of diabetes, the stages at which you are in, you know, that will inform the kinds of meals or the kinds of foods that you're supposed to take. Go low on fat, like she has said. Try as much as you can to go low on uh, carbohydrates. And I think that's normally what we always advise, you know, at all levels. If you are that mama and you just, of course, got an, okay, well, you, you, you're pregnant or something so you're told you know just go low on these foods make the best of of course enjoying your vegetables and i think that's exactly what we've been doing and that's what we'll be doing every other friday where we get to give you tips you know in regards to what exactly you should take you know as breakfast and you know simple ways of making and preparing the common foods that you have around and you know you just get to enjoy them so right we're right here with chef joy and of course she's taking us through that a simple breakfast meal for a person with diabetes and i keep saying it's for 
everyone in the family because I'm sure my baby would eat that comfortably. Yeah. I would personally eat whatever it is that is here comfortably. We have the fruits all, of course, uh, chopped and we're waiting to enjoy them. And now she's making whatever it is that she's making. She called it what again? Manda. Manda. Yeah. Any manda. Like, yeah. you can do the actual thing. It's not only some Oh, <laughs> all right, okay. <laughs> <laughs> the, the ingredients in the shape is story too. But, but though, it, it, chef, they say it's very important, uh, you know, like presentation, chapati kwe poa, sijui shape kwe poa. I've seen how much we sometimes chop the fruits and we're like, ah, what is the essence wow, of this? Nyanya yeah. <laughs> ina and then eventually get into the fire. In a potela. Potela, like really, why should you waste your time to do all that? Yeah. Well, you see, mm -hmm. I came to find out, okay, I didn't really go to school mm -hmm. for, for a cooking this? school. All right. It's what I love doing. Okay. I love cooking mm -hmm. as much as I love eating. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so you right. see, this is done. It's thin enough, as yeah. you can see, because mm -hmm. you don't want something fat. Okay. Something thin. All right. So you know, if you want to eat it, you want to eat it. All right. Okay. Uh -huh. yeah. okay. We're back to you, uh, Madam Nutritionist. Okay. And so far, so good. I think she's taken me through something that is convincing enough to say. Yeah. I know there are different ways of preparing whatever it is that we have on set. Okay. But equally, uh, then does the different ways of preparing them sort of brings a difference also in terms of how of importance it would be to a person who has health issues for that matter. Uh -huh. Like for instance, if you have to deep fry this, then it becomes yeah. a health hazard exactly. in comparison to... Exactly. Uh -huh. the, cooking, the, the, the cooking, the cooking bit is also very important yeah. because you could be having healthy food, mm -hmm. but you cook it the wrong way or yeah. you add the wrong cooking oil. Right. Like now we are preparing spinach. Mm -hmm. uh, she's, uh, she's made spinach. I've seen some tomatoes yes. in it. There was also some onions. Mm -hmm. She's really cooked it well. Within right. uh, three to four minutes, your food should be ready, especially mm -hmm. if it's the green leafy veggies. Yes, yes, or, yes. Uh, the idea is you need to see every nutrient oh, on the plate. On the plate. So okay. if you see so the, the tomato, red. I can uh -huh. see the red in the tomato. Oh. Tomatoes are very high in vitamin okay. C, vitamin A, and these are powerful antioxidants, right. especially in inflammation. You know, when you have diabetes, mm -hmm. you can get a lot of wounds, wound healing, so yeah, this one yeah. helps. There are also, uh, tomatoes also contain lycopene, which is uh, an anti-cancer uh, property, but right. it also helps in balancing glucose. Okay. And also you find that there's the onions that are there, you have the spinach. Mm -hmm. When you're diabetic, any green leafy veggie is yes. ideal. Oh. One, because it has fiber. You require fiber to uh, metabolize glucose in your system. Okay. And fiber, you have the two types, the soluble and the insoluble fiber. Mm -hmm. So for our green leafy veggies, they right. have the insoluble fiber that acts as a broom and also help in uh, uh, bal roughage, balancing mm -hmm. glucose in the system as they're trying to uh, help you with your management of weight, if at all you're big. Okay. And also they contain things like magnesium, which is excellent for the body, iron, yes. which is excellent. Mm -hmm. So you're you're actually eating healthy when you're adding these green leafy veggies. So All the right. cooking of the vegetables mm -hmm. is between three and five minutes. You can also decide to, uh, instead of frying them, yeah. could be another option. You know, cooking is an art. You can cook in so many other ways. Mm -hmm. You can actually steam the veggies together and then you add a tablespoon oh. of an extra virgin oil. Mm -hmm. It could be olive oil because, again, as a diabetic person, you actually require to have the uh, good HDL cholesterol. Right. And this comes from things like olive oh, oil yes, yes, and yes. fatty fish. Mm -hmm. And when you have the good uh, HDL cholesterol, it helps the high uh, density lipoprotein. Mm -hmm. It helps in reducing the bad cholesterol in your system, right. which is also associated the diabetes. Okay. So she's used coconut oil and coconut oil is also That's very, right. uh, it's, it's healthy, it's mm -hmm. excellent, but you also need to manage the amount that you put, you if, put you're, yeah. uh, if you're diabetic. Mm -hmm. I can see her preparing the Chapati. Yeah, and my question chapati. Is, would it have been better if it was brown? <laughs> yes, exactly. Uh -huh. If you're a diabetic, of course, uh, your carbohydrates needs to be whole meal yeah, yeah, or yeah. whole grains, okay. meaning that they're released slowly into glucose. Right. You don't want to spike it immediately. Like, uh -huh. You know, and immediately you take the meal and then uh -huh. your glucose levels are high. Uh -huh. So the option of carbohydrate is to look for the uh, whole grains uh -huh. and whole meal. So if it was uh, the, like the white flour, yeah, maybe yeah. brown, uh, brown flour, if you're able to get that, right. not only does it have uh, the fiber that you need, mm -hmm. it is also released gluco uh, into glucose slowly, yeah, yeah, and yeah. it also contains like the B vitamins right. that the re uh, refined flour does not have. Oh, okay. But if you are going to do it once in a while, it is okay. It's okay. If it uh -huh. is at a two-week menu that you're doing that, mm -hmm. it's, it's excellent. Mm -hmm. And if you went everywhere and you did not get the whole 
milk flour. Will and I think this will not kill you. Feeling, yeah. <laughs> or, okay, yeah. well, you really do not have to live a different life, not that you have exactly. officially been diagnosed. You know? Exactly. Just, yeah, so and you can also uh, substitute, if today you're going to take the, the chapati, tomorrow yes. you can take the sweet potatoes. Mm -hmm. We have a lot of traditional vegetables, mm -hmm. uh, the starches that we have with us right. that actually help in balancing uh, the uh, diabetes. Mm -hmm. Speaking of which, before you continue, I think we have yes. brown bread. Eh? So <laughs> I want to know whether brown bread would, would come in handy. It would, it would be fair enough. Uh, you know, as a substitute, breakfast, yes. and breakfast should be your heaviest meal. Mm -hmm. A diabetic also, I, I need to mention that you mm -hmm. need to take small, frequent meals. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know that you take like three meals in a day, maybe regular meals, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. like five or right. six in a day, okay. because you're trying to regulate your glucose level slowly by slowly as the day goes. Okay. If you're going to take one huge meal in the morning and then you stay again and take it at lunchtime, you spike up your glucose levels oh. and that's not good. All right. And again, f uh, taking small frequent meals means mm -hmm. even if you are taking something that has a uh, maybe a, a food that has a higher glycemic index, yeah. this uh, glucose is slowly being maintained or being uh, uh, balanced uh, naturally right. in the system. Mm -hmm. Another tip, do not stay hungry. You know, oh, sometimes okay. I may decide so this, small is, portions. Uh -huh. this is my breakfast, then I'm going to eat again at night. Mm -hmm. A diabetic person, the chances of now increasing that sugar when you've stayed for a long for period a long time. of time uh, comes, without comes eating, that is a problem. Okay. So for brown bread, this is also a very healthy option. Mm -hmm. Remember, not brown bread, wholemeal bread. Okay. It oh, could be right. white bread with color. With color. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> actually, and the idea there is to get the B vitamin, right. to balance glucose, to get fiber, mm -hmm. and actually to get all the nutrients. Right. That they, the, the, for, because these are foods with low glycemic index, mm -hmm. so they're released uh, slowly into glucose, into glucose in the system. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Of course, uh, Joy on the other side is fixing her chap. I knew a ship was here. I can't have a ship. You may misbehave. You may misbehave. I know. Yes, I, I, I know that feeling. I really know that feeling. Get some you've you've yeah, met parties before. Oh, yeah. I have. I have. <laughs> it can really mess you up. Oh, yeah, it can. Sincerely speaking. There are times you can be so perfect at it. And I know. Time like, you happened? get the best of dough, but then it gets you disappointed. <laughs> all right, so we're crossing over to juices. I don't know, with the fruits uh, and all that. Yeah, well, as this continues yeah. to mm -hmm. get ready, I uh -huh. want to blend this all right. to just save time. Uh, there's a time, Kate, I've been told this. I don't know yeah. whether it's true. Um, that sometimes if you have to take fruits, let's just have them, you know, sort of... On their very own, like if it's a mango, just have it on its own, as opposed to mixing them. Is it true nutrition-wise, or yes, it is more ideal. You know, at the end of the day, when you're eating, mm -hmm. you want to get the availability of all the nutrients yes. that you're taking in the diet to get into your cells mm -hmm. for you to keep healthy. Mm -hmm. So, there's that uh, fruits are digested like for about 45 minutes mm -hmm. and they should be taken on an empty stomach. Yes. By the way, mm -hmm. so don't eat like the way we are used to. You have your huge meal and then you're having your fruits later mm. that actually reduces the assimilation of the nutrients in this so All you're right. supposed to take on an empty stomach and that's in the morning the best time to have the your fruits yeah it's the best time or okay. in between as a branch mm -hmm. in between like at 10 o'clock or at 4 o'clock mm. but not after a heavy ugali and, and a meal uh, and uh, you're your salad. trying you, to they take call your the dessert and, yeah. so why you should not combine them together is because different fruits are assimilated at different levels right. and different fruits have different like, some are acidic okay. some are neutral mm -hmm. so if you mix everything together mm -hmm. you actually reduce or you cross the way they should be, the nutrients should get should into be. your system okay. but once in a while you can blend maybe a, like a minimum of four colors mm -hmm. and you can blend fruits that almost are the same type okay. so if it's the acidic uh, tree maybe almost uh -huh. the same type right. and an excellent fruit like i see she's put watermelon yes. watermelon is not only excellent for diabetics even for any person so mm -hmm. 98 percent water mm -hmm. contains like vitamin a vitamin yeah. c powerful mm -hmm. antioxidants Mm. I can see she's put pineapples, excellent source of bromelain, which helps in digestion with the digest, uh, digestive system. Right. So you're a diabetic person, you also want the food to be digested, be digested for the glucose fast. to yes. be used up. So that's excellent. Pineapple so also contains things like bromelain, mm -hmm. uh, sorry, bromelain, uh, mang manganese, okay. which is also very good for balancing um, the blood, you also have uh, vitamin A, vitamin C, so right. a, a perfect combination. Right. There are apples, always add apples. You can see like always. apples are yeah, always apple day, added. The doctor away. Yes, they're added to even vegetable juices. Sure. It's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's an excellent fruit that helps in neutralizing an apple or yeah. carrots. Okay. They are very good for neutralizing a drink or for adding nutrients. We uh -huh. know an apple a day, like you've said. Yes. Apples have pectin, which is an insoluble fiber, excellent for okay. someone with diabetes. Right. They also have other nutrients that you actually actually need. Remember the, uh, what she has chosen, the pineapple, mm -hmm. the watermelon, and the apples. These are foods 
patients that have a low glycemic index. Right. But sometimes diabetics are very shy of the pineapple mm -hmm. because it's a little bit well, sweet. Sweet or oh, sweet. Yeah. It has so much sugar, yeah? Yeah, a little bit sweet. But remember, you're not doing it as often. And the other benefits in the pineapple will mm -hmm. actually help uh, in balancing the glucose in your system. But, but the other... Uh, before you proceed, eh, what, is, what are the dangers of natural sugars in that case? You see, when you're... Then it's about to balance. When eh? you're diabetic, you already have high glucose in your system. Okay. So whether you're getting it from a natural source or, or whether you're getting it from the artificial sauce like the refined mm -hmm. sugars our soft drinks mm -hmm. from alcohol taking mm -hmm. empty calories it just still adding this sugar so for uh, the natural glucose that that comes from food like fructose from the uh, from the veg uh, from the fruits especially yeah. you need to choose the fruits that have that are low in sugar, in sugar. content oh, yes. oh. and this actually you're trying to balance that sugar because if you take the high levels mm -hmm. of uh, the fruits that have high sugar it means that you're actually increasing the sugar that you already have in excess okay. so that's a good selection you yes. can also add pears, you can add things like uh, purple, mm -hmm. you can add things like kiwi fruit, mm -hmm. but, but it depends on the combination. Remember I said cooking mm -hmm. is an art. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have seen she has avocados there. And I'm also curious of what she's doing. <laughs> okay. Because your chapati may take 50 minutes. <laughs> no, it's because I've put medium heat and it's well, not really medium. Why medium heat? Because well, you, you don't want to eat it. You, oh, you have okay. to take care of it. All right. You say when you're national, geuza, geuza. Yeah, It's like your baby. Until you achieve that Color, Until, yeah, it has color. to brown, you can see. Would it, it has to brown. forever? No, so you, we're not using <laughs> oil? No. Okay. Not at all. No, that's not nice. at all. Yeah, no, that's a secret. Yeah? Yeah. But that is excellent. That is excellent. You know, once okay. you start uh, heating oil, mm -hmm. when if it was the healthy oil, like the extra virgin oil that I was talking about, yeah. you actually uh, turn it, uh, turn the oil into a, a, a rancid, uh, can I call it rancid yeah. state, where now you're introducing the bad uh, heating oil makes it rancid and that's not okay for okay. you. And also you denature the nutrients that were, uh, mm. the good cholesterol that was in it. So the All best right. thing is to put like that, if you're making the normal chapati at mm -hmm, home, mm -hmm. you just do that, then you brush the oil on top. Mm -hmm. On top, like ah, the so because then again, it's, it really is, it's only about how it looks, and yeah. you, know, you just want yeah. it to look oily. And you're going to add or brush the mm -hmm. healthy oil, mm -hmm. so it means that you're actually getting, it, it, it still tastes the mm -hmm. same, but it depends on what you're preparing, mm -hmm. and that works. That's good, excellent. before we get yeah. to the avocado that you wanted to take yeah. us through. Chef, I uh -huh. uh -huh. like so far, as in, are we halfway done? Are we almost done? We are halfway done. Uh -huh. So We're that one done. will be uh, blended. I can even serve one right you now. You can serve one, uh -huh. Uh -huh. and then but we'll let me blend just the juice. finish this up. Okay. Okay. All right. Uh -huh. So yes, the avocados. Yes, avocados. Uh, we're just trying to look at a general meal for a diabetic. Yeah. So we've looked at uh, the fruits that you can have. You can have the good fats. Mm -hmm. Like I said, bad fats should be avoided. Yeah. So good fats could come from fatty fish. Mm -hmm. Even an, av an avocado is excellent. Yeah. Even if avocados are high in calories, mm -hmm. so you, sh uh, you should take it sparingly, not right. all the time. Mm -hmm. But it's also good in iron, good for anemia, mm -hmm. good for the blood, contains things like potassium. Right. It's an excellent uh, veg fruit. Is, right. is, is avocado a fruit or a veg? <laughs> avocado is a fruit. It's a fruit. Is, is it not a fruit? It's a fruit. <laughs> it's, a fruit. It's, a fruit. Yeah? it's an excellent fruit that uh -huh. you can actually add into your salads, mm -hmm. into, your, into a smoothie. You right. can actually even eat it as a snack. But remember to mm -hmm. reduce the frequency that you take. All right. So, yeah. Madam... Joy, we yes. have like about six minutes to, to enjoy this complete. delicacy and say okay. that you're winding up on this particular. So uh, you, need, uh, you, you need to blend that or what? I can quickly blend this. Uh -huh. You can quickly blend that as that cooks. Yeah? We can actually help you out on that one. Now that at least I have an idea of what <laughs> oh, you've what done I'm on that day. chapati. <laughs> <laughs> How many hours? My, my hands are clean, so yes, we're easy. I'll be here helping out. When it starts to bubble on Yeah, it's on, it's on. I'm thinking, it, oh, sure. when, hey, it's in forever. Sana, I'm an like yeah, this sure. is the system. I'm a tutumie motomingi. I'm a tutumie motomingi. You just make it as thin as possible. I love to to me a kamoto kamingi angala. Hey, I'm thinking this chapati really. <laughs> Okay, so it should not burn whatsoever. No, it should not. It All just right. begins to brown. The eggs aspect. Oh, yes. And so how we make eggs, to, yes. To, to talk about eggs. Yes. Um, Remember eggs or our natural, uh, our animal proteins mm -hmm. are high in cholesterol yeah. and as a, as a diabetic, this is something you're trying to reduce mm -hmm. to yeah. maintain weight and also to have uh, the liver cells not becoming insensitive. Right. So for eggs, you can take boiled eggs. Mm -hmm. You can choose to take the egg white right. and leave the middle part, which is high in cholesterol, yeah. but a scrambled uh, egg like she's like prepared, she's done, yeah. once in a while is okay, mm -hmm. about two Two so to worried. three eggs in a week <laughs> uh -huh. is what is recommended. Okay. Uh, 
the idea two to three in a week. Yeah, All but right. the idea is to look for other sources of protein, like mm -hmm. for diabetic, uh, the bean family, the legumes, uh -huh. the lentils, French beans. Uh, things that are also uh, have a little bit of carbohydrates, they have fiber and they also have protein. The plant-based proteins are much more excellent mm -hmm. for someone who has diabetes because you're, you're now trying to reduce the risks of uh, things like high cholesterol. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. now for the eggs, apart from that, it contains vitamin D, which is excellent. Mm -hmm. You're going to get your calcium, mm -hmm. you're going to get your uh, uh, things like iron, and this is okay All right. for, good. for a breakfast. And I actually like the way she's combined. We are so used to milk bread, tea. I know, in the morning, the basics. ask me and I'll tell you that. The <laughs> best you can go is my eye. Yeah. And I like even the way she's brought the aspect of, you can have like a spinach or a, yeah, yeah. it looks like a food or an actual meal in the mm -hmm. morning. Yeah. And your your breakfast needs to be the heaviest. That's where by you actually mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. That this is, is okay. an yeah. actual... So where do we put it? We put it uh, here. Sorry. Oh my goodness, God. Uh -huh. So that's a very good combination, which yeah. I like. Um, 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 uh, maybe I have a question. You can actually add any other traditional veggies that yeah, you, you can, can have. Mm -hmm. You're free. Maybe like Don't your manabus, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. to actually now add more variety okay. and, and more nutrients mm -hmm. to the food. Mm -hmm. And it actually looks healthy. We can see the onions. Onions are antiviral. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're antibiotics. Also very good for balancing or for reducing cholesterol mm -hmm. in the system. Right. Uh, and if that is combined with the breakfast, I think... Uh, yeah. So far, so good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. So meanwhile, maybe we can be testing that as we wait for the juice award now. Because okay. in Kama Imeiva, sincerely speaking, as you can see, Naturally, and that's a ni nice ni explanation manager. out there. Uh, sincerely speaking, we've done you justice in terms of taking you through the essence of the nutrients that we have and why we picked this uh, meal this morning. Yes, I call it a meal because then it's actually a total meal, you know, a full meal for that matter. Contrary yeah. to what we always used to, you know, in the morning we just do our carbohydrates, yamkate, yeah. and then we do the milk and that's it, whereas the saying is done. Uh, normally when I'm making my omelette, you know, I was actually expecting something that, you know, is more of eggish, yeah? Mm -hmm. Like a lot of egg on it. Why have we decided to go more on... The, the veggies, the veggies. As opposed to that. I you wanted that. to put more emphasis on the veggies because uh -huh, it's uh -huh. in the morning, you yeah, know. Yeah. And we're trying to minimize also the proteins that you're having. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's why I went mm -hmm. a bit wild on the veggies. Mm -hmm. So uh, we've put now our omelets in the middle of the the, the tortilla. All right. And now we just need to cover fold it. Fold them up. Yeah, okay. just fold. So this is basically okay. what you do. Okay. So then you don't need to deep fry them again. No, 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 no. It's just that. So this is just ready. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. So we can set them up, and then of course we'll get to taste and see whether yes, there's a presence in that. But then we're done with the only with, with the tomatoes. Yeah. Diliona, we diced lots of them, and then I was like, oh. Okay. Maybe you can even use them right. as a salad on the side. Yeah, you can also oh, the tomatoes. To put them yeah. on top, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. which I'm going to do. I'm going to do a different one, like that. this one. Yeah. I didn't add the tomatoes on top. Okay. Which I'm going to do with this one. All right. Mm -hmm. Not too much, because of too also the acid parts yeah, of the yeah. tomatoes, mm -hmm. the, the aspect of the acid. Okay. What is the goodness of having it raw as compared to having it cooked? The benefits of having uh, not only tomatoes but vegetables when they are raw is, mm -hmm, is mm -hmm. you get all the nutrients. You know mm -hmm. when we cook, you're going to cook for 15 minutes, your mbogas turn brown, I know. you boil a little bit, mm -hmm. you, put, you keep adding water and spices, you mm -hmm. end up losing especially the water-soluble vitamin, all right. vitamin B. Uh, is a water soluble vitamin, vitamin, uh, and when you lose your water soluble vitamins, mm -hmm. it means that you're not absorbing the vitamins there, so they just evaporate as mm -hmm. you cook. Mm -hmm. So, when you're taking vegetables in their raw state, first you're getting all the nutrients, yeah. again, you're getting uh, you have the fiber in it, and you ha you're able to take variety instead mm -hmm. of the way we combine right. and adding the wrong cooking oils and things like those. Mm -hmm. But remember, when it comes to eating raw, raw veggies and salad, which is ideal, in fact, yeah. you need to look for organic ones. Because a All lot right. of things you have a lot of sprays mm -hmm. and a lot of things being added, the chemicals, the pesticides when you're growing the vegetables. Yeah. So there's also the risk of getting a lot of chemicals in your system mm -hmm. if you had not chosen to take uh, organic veggies. Right. Remember, every plate, not only for a diabetic, Can we buy? Can I buy it? half of it should be vegetable. Oh, half of it yes. should be vegetable. Yes. So speaking so of which, I've yeah. seen her using yogurt. Like, do we just yeah. use the kawaii yogurts in town? And, and also milk. I think I've gone to the market at some point. It was like lactose milk. I really do not understand all, and I'm sure a majority of people. 
people don't. So what's in, of course, the yogurt and what exactly would you take that would be good or recommended? Recommended for mm -hmm. for healthy system, for diabetic. Yogi. Mm -hmm. No, it's on. Yeah. Right. Low okay. fat. Free, free. <laughs> Low fat yogurt. Uh -huh. And uh, this is because, again, you're trying to reduce the fat and the cholesterol levels. Yeah. You also need to uh, remember yogurt contains the uh, probiotics, which mm -hmm. is a healthy bacteria that helps with digestion. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. if you're going to add yogurt, just look for the low fat. Yeah. And you can even combine it with so many other things. Mm -hmm. You can make a smoothie out of it. Or just a tablespoon yeah. that can be added onto your fruit salad, mm -hmm. if you are having the fruit salad, yeah. just to ensure they're also getting that uh, bit of protein mm -hmm. from uh, for the diet because you actually need to have protein as well. That's good. Yeah. All right, and there you go. Three, only for us. I'm sorry, Mr. Cameron. <laughs> <laughs> this is sweet. It looks sweet. <laughs> you know, I'm doing it. I'm on the door. You put some pili pili. I put some black pepper. Oh, black pepper, mm. yeah, yeah. Is that okay? Yes. Spices, by the way. Exactly. In fact, uh, natural spices mm -hmm. are good for diabetes mm -hmm. and also for a healthy system. Mm -hmm. You can even use things like cinnamon. Cinnamon is excellent for yeah. diabetics, whether yeah, it's yeah. cinnamon tea or you're going to just uh, flavor mm -hmm. or some of your food. Remember to look for the natural ones, yeah. not the powders that you may find in the supermarket mm -hmm. where it reads cinnamon or it reads whatever and it's not the actual mm -hmm. ingredient. Mm -hmm. Other herbs like aloe vera, excellent. Moringa, excellent. In fact, yeah. moringa, a teaspoon mm -hmm. that could have even been sprinkled in the spinach when you're preparing mm -hmm. or sprinkled in a smoothie that you're taking or even in the tomatoes mm -hmm. excellent because the vitamins and minerals that is giving you uh, things like mist thistle you have things like nettle which is very good the bitter lemon yeah, watermelon yeah, yeah. but mm -hmm. the bitter one the one that has some spikes on mm -hmm. top mm -hmm. vegetables like carella herbs mm -hmm. like carella that you can actually juice and take so the variety is what you look at and then you're taking it in moderation different types of foods right. you're reducing junk food you're reducing high processed mm -hmm. foods you are also exercising a sedentary lifestyle makes you add weight and also for a diabetic person you need to be, to uh, be physically act yeah, active yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. to also because you're trying to maintain your bmi if you're overweight because right. the risk of attracting diabetes also you're overweight or you had hypertension mm -hmm. or you have uh, like uh, a history of stroke in your family. So also exercising is quite important. Right. Drinking healthy beverages every day and ensuring that if you're on medication, you're following what your doctor has been has saying told you, yeah. as you combine with healthy eating and provide all the nutrients mm -hmm. and ensure that you're eating small, frequent meals and you're taking them regularly. Oh, wow. so much information in one simple show that, you know, is also very interesting and colorful in terms of the foods that we've made. Sarah, come on. I don't know whether DJ Axenica can stand by. DJ Axenica, can you say the guinea says he's going to leave his machine. But Sarah can taste this for us also. Meanwhile, I don't know, what was the last fall that you had in terms of the... Um, so you know, is it from Mtingeneza is a different one? Yeah, a different fall. Yeah, okay, we well, we'll be looking at that as we wind up, yeah? Can I but get a... Hey, um, can, yeah. you're talking any pork? Oh, it's okay, it's okay then. It's I okay, yeah? It. It's just a matter of tasting it. It's yeah. right after we're done with the show because I, then time I, also is I've never been a fan <laughs> of healthy food. Or really, I know. <laughs> but I understand you're hundred and one percent. Nobody is. Yeah, Life so. just pushes you to that point. But yeah. I think there's something funny that they say when you grow old, by default, but mm -hmm. then you just find yourself wanting to this eat really good. managu. I don't know. Yeah, it comes I with know. age? You know, it comes with age because mm -hmm. as you get older, that's when something happens. Okay. Maybe you add some weight or someone around you is falling sick or mm -hmm. you're your energy levels are becoming low. There's All something right. happening. But I think it's good to have the back ground. True, true, you just true. start building uh -huh. it when you're young because mm -hmm. you only con uh, mm -hmm. co control 20% of your aging process after the age of, age oh, of 40. Okay. So All if you're right. not doing it before 40, mm -hmm. then you struggle so much more when you're above 40. Okay. Oh. So, so Joy, we are good? Sarah, it's what really do you good. Mean? It's crunchy and it's not oily. I know. It sounds like junk. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it it actually looks like junk. Looks like junk. Uh, it's like convincing junk. enough. Yeah. I think it's all in how you're cooking if it, this right? Is healthy, yeah. then and then this is also another example of a balanced meal or an option of a balanced meal in the morning. You have your simple. carbohydrates, mm -hmm. your egg, and your vitamin right now. Uh -huh. Okay. Then that's good. It's a wrap. It's as good as that. Because when tell me to eat spinach, spinach, <laughs> the mention of spinach is a no, no, no. Yeah. But you know, just having it the way it is, well, it's good. And the juice is ready? Yeah. Mm -hmm. All blended? Okay. So oh, it's a whole combination. You. Kit. Yeah. You're comfortable. You can proceed if you wish to taste. I mean, it's all here. It's all done. I think we've done enough explaining. 
I think <laughs> we've taught some people, you know, some the best of tips. Joy, as we get to wind up, what would you tell someone out there who's been watching you and they sort of feel like, you know what, this is the real deal, or this is not the real deal? <laughs> so what I can say is, because you are ill, which is unfortunate, but mm -hmm. it doesn't mean that you don't have to have fun with your meals. Mm -hmm. There's a way you can have healthy and still have wow. True. You get. Mm -hmm. This is healthy, but wow. It's actually wow. Yeah. It sounds like in a bag. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> they do thing. this. This wraps in Java. Yeah. It tastes like that. Exactly. It's true. Exactly. Uh -huh. Kit. For me, I would, I would say uh, cooking is an art. Right. So you can uh, combine anything, but what you need to look at, remember, your health is in your hands. Mm -hmm. What you eat is what you become. So choosing healthier options mm -hmm. actually make it easier for you, and especially if you have a menu right. where you know you're going to be eating this, this, and that. We have that notion that healthy food is not tasty, and actually this looks very pleasant and very yeah. healthy. Mm -hmm. And also start with the foods that you like. Personally, I hate avocado. Okay. So if I was going to make something, I even if avocado is healthy, it's not the first one that I would start with mm -hmm. in a salad or something. Mm -hmm. You gradually introduce the foods that you actually did not like. Yeah. And then with time, you get used to everything. And also remember that uh, if you're diabetic, managing it is very easy. Right. Reduce your BMI and mm -hmm. eat healthy, and you'll be okay. Within no time, there will, should not be a huge problem. Mm -hmm. That's amazing. Yes. Joy, thank you for putting one glass. That's a polite way of saying <laughs> Linda is the only one to taste the taste. <laughs> and I'm impressed that, by the way, we did not put any water on this. No, yeah? we Kawaida, we used to put water on, on the fruits that we're actually blending and all that. We go low on milk and all that. But anyway, here we are, Sahara. Meanwhile, yeah. where is Issa so that we we'll see the last band that meeting. you... Oh, she's going... Yeah. She's Okay, yeah. well, all right, well, the same, all good, and of course, the last message or maybe parting shots to tell people well, not necessarily in regards uh, to food, uh, but necessarily uh, also in lo in looking good, you know, yeah. as a woman out there. Because then we said mm -hmm. that every other day we look at a typical breakfast for a woman. Mm -hmm. You know, this is a Muslim woman, I'm yeah. at the end of the day, you have to fix something for your family, yeah, it's true, and yeah. uh, as she said, it's better to be healthier now, mm -hmm. early enough, mm -hmm. before you get to that point in, in your life where you have to do it by force. True. Yeah, and as women, I think we should just take care of ourselves, look good, eat good, and be mm -hmm. healthy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's I all think I we'll say. send our invoices later. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so they can pay for all these great tips that we've given them this morning. Thank you so much, Joy. Thank you You're so welcome. much, Kate. So Thank much, of you. course, for the great insights and most importantly for the information, which is key. Thanks to myself, by the way. Mm -hmm. and that's the reason why I'm enjoying this. <laughs> <laughs> but why is everyone laughing? Am I not supposed to thank myself? <laughs> and Sahara, thank you so You're much welcome. for your time. So, Joey, to Nandelia Kusavi, Kitu to Kijiba. Mama, I'm going to go. Did you have any Melenga history? Attacking could text by all the same. We'll preserve something small for him. That's all we had this morning. It was great having you. All about healthy tips, you know, in terms of the breakfast that you were supposed to have. And yes, we still have our uh, fruits right here. This is what we're going to enjoy. Thank you so much for keeping us company. It was great having you. See you again next time as we get to do this different, of course, a breakfast. And it is upon you to tell us what you want us to make you. See you again next time. My name is Linda Lella. We leave you with DJ Axanek. <laughs>